Hello to all. Today we will be going to discuss about the fundamental characteristics of the chordates. As we know very well that there are many characters found in the chordates, but there are few fundamental characteristics which are the feature of the chordates. The first one is the presence of the notochord. The second one is the presence of the dorsal tubular nerve cord. The third one is known as the presence of the pharyngeal gill slits. And the fourth is the presence of the post anal tail. Now have a look on this one. Presence of notochord. The most important feature of the chordates. Because the notochord is present in the chordates. And hence they are called as what? The chordates. Now see here. In embryonic stages of the chordate animals. There is a solid stick or string like structure. Called as the notochord. I have used the term embryonic stage. Why? Because in adults, this notochord will be converted into the backbone or the vertebral column. Okay. Now, it is present just see the position. See the position of the notochord that it is present just below the nerve cord. It is present below the nerve cord and above the elementary canal. Okay. So, where is the nerve cord present? Nerve cord is present in the dorsal region. An elementary canal is present in the ventral region. So, it is present below the nerve cord and above the elementary canal. Okay. Now, notochord is extended from the anterior to the posterior end of the body at the dorsal surface. Means the position of the notochord is not ventral, it is dorsal and it extends from anterior end of the body to the posterior end of the body. And one more thing, right, that is, it is mesodermal in origin. We know very well there are three embryonic layers, ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Always remember that notochord is mesodermal in origin. And if we talk about the protochordates or the lower chordates or the primitive chordates, in them the notochord persists throughout the life. But in the case of the advanced chordates, that is the vertebrates, this notochord is replaced by a backbone or the vertebral column in the case of the adults. Okay, so this is the presence of the notochord. Okay, now second one, presence of dorsal tubular nerve cord. It is also a very important feature of the chordates that in the chordates, the central nervous system is situated at the dorsal surface of the body. See, this is the ventral surface of the body. The back portion is the dorsal surface of the body. So we can say that the position of the nerve cord is dorsal means in chordates the central nervous system is situated at the dorsal surface of the body and this nerve cord is always single dorsal hollow and tubular if we compare the nerve cord of the non chordates then you will see that there they are having double double nerve cord they are having ventral nerve cord and they are having solid nerve cord but here the case is totally different in nerve cord here it is single dorsal hollow and tubular now see the position of the nerve cord it is present below the body wall it is present below the body wall body means body wall means outer part okay so it is present below the body wall and just above the notochord it is present just below the body wall and above the notochord okay and remember this thing that nerve cord is ectodermal in origin means it originates from an embryonic layer which is called as the ectoderm now see the third one presence of the pharyngeal gill clefts now in each chordate animal there are certain paired lateral gill clefts which are present in the wall of the pharynx and they are responsible for the respiration in any stage of the lifespan means chordates in any stage of the lifespan will be definitely having certain paired uh, lateral structures called as the gill clefts found in the pharynx region which are meant for the purpose of the respiration now always remember that in aquatic chordates say if i talk about fishes that is the fishes and the lower chordates if i talk about aquatic chordates and the lower chordates the pharyngeal gill clefts are present throughout the lifespan for the purpose of the respiration. But if we talk about the terrestrial chordates, then in terrestrial chordates, the gill clefts are found only in the embryonic stages and in adult, 
they are absent why because in adults for the purpose of the respiration lungs are present so therefore we can say that gill clefts are found only in the embryonic stages in the terrestrial chordates okay and the last one is known as the presence of the post anal tail this is also a fundamental feature of the chordates that they are having a post anal tail but it's not necessary that tail is present in all the chordates i have written here in chordates tail if present if tail present then it is present in the post anal part of the body now in the case of the non chordates the tail was actually present in the pre anal part but here the tail if present it is present in the post anal part of the body okay and i have also written here that tail is reduced or absent in many adult chordates it not it's not necessary that all the chordates adult chordates will be having the tail in some adult chordates the tail is reduced or it is absent so these were the four fundamental characteristics of the chordates once again i am repeating the presence of the notochord the presence of the dorsal tubular nerve cord the presence of the pharyngeal gill clefts and the presence of the post anal tail we will be coming soon with few more videos based on the chordates thanks a lot for watching me if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take